Kadar programından merhaba sevgili seyirciler. Bugün Galatasaray Nef Erkek Basketbol takımından konuğumuz Melo Trimble. Hiç lafı uzatmadan kendisine merhaba deyip, hoş geldin deyip sorularımı sormaya başlıyorum. First of all, welcome Melo. You know, I appreciate that you like us to do this interview. So my first question going to be Galatasaray. When you first heard that Galatasaray interests on you, what was your first thoughts? My first thought, I mean I didn't know too much about um, Turkey or Galatasaray at all because uh, I didn't think too much about it. Obviously, I had to do my research, and I seen a lot of guys come through here and play here. And um, the one, the number one thing I did not know was about the fans. I didn't know anything about the fans and stuff like that. I just knew that they had good players to come through here, and uh, it was based in Turkey. And I didn't know anything about Istanbul, and I really didn't know too much. I didn't even know who coach was or <laughs> anything like that. But um, from mutual friends, I knew I was getting into a good situation, so uh, which is part of the reason why I came here. Ciddi bir kalabalık söz konusu. Yani şu anda sanıyorum 4000 civarı bir tarafta olsa gerek. Galatasaray'ı baskı altında hissettirdiler. Melo Trimble 3 sayı kesabet. Maçı imzasını attı Melo Trimble'ın 27. sayısı. From then up to now, what would I say about Galatasaray, Istanbul, or Turkey? You know, the food, the area, the people, the fans, your coach and your team. Um. I'm very happy to be here. I think that, uh, you know, here they speak English and Turkish is a hard language to learn. And, uh, you know, obviously in Spain, everyone knew Spanish, not too much English. So being here has been easier to like transition as far as getting around and stuff like that. And um, the city is big, so I take that back. It's not that easy getting around here. You know, you really got to time up your day from when you wake up because of traffic. Traffic here is insane, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So yeah. like coach, he will have practice at six. I have to leave at least an hour, 30 minutes before practice just to get on time, you know? So, I mean, that's one of the toughest things about being here in Istanbul is the traffic. But other than that, a uh, very likable city. So, it's food is okay. It's nothing special, but it's okay, I mean. But I haven't had anything crazy that made me say, oh, I need to get this again, you know what I'm saying? So, but other than that, the city is good and people, my teammates, coaches, everyone is really nice. I love coach. Uh, he's very passionate. He's a funny guy. He's always nervous, but I mean, when he's nervous, For some reason, I don't get nervous. He makes me like feel comfortable because he's too nervous. You know, it's kind of weird. But um, I like everyone, the coaching staff. I think my like my secret best friend is Jink Akio. Yeah, that's like my best friend right there. I don't, but that's between me and him. So I can't I can't ex expose the information between me and Jink. But Jink's a good guy. Um, you know, he played here. He's a legend here. So I look up to him. I mean, he's not even that old, but you know, he's retired. He's coaching now, and uh, you know, he. Uh, He's been through everything. You know, he played in Ephesus, played in Italy, and like I say, he's a good guy. And like I say, he's like my best friend. Jake Akio boş kaldı. Jake Akio dışarı basket. Jake Akio da. Jake Akio bomboş köşede bir. Jake Akio'nun beşinci sayısı. Jake Akio bir üçlük daha. Bu da başarılı. Jake Akio'nun bir ve ikinci sayısı. All right, then you know I know that after you you played at your home team Maryland and NBA. Summer League. After that, you dared to, you know, across the sea and transfer far away from him. And, you know, how day? What was your motivation to come to Australia, Spain, and Turkey? I mean, the first thought of going to Australia was crazy. My agent at the time told me I was going to Australia, and I said, "Where is Australia?" And he, really? <laughs> I didn't know where that was at. It was, it was. I didn't know what to even think of Australia. I mean, I did, I forgot the kangaroos were out there. Oh, but it well was. Done. That's all I knew. It was kangaroos, but um, 
My agent told me I was going to Australia. It was a good opportunity, a league that's up and rising, and I went out there for two years. And I enjoyed myself out there, but um, you know, after the second year, I knew it was time to you know, move on. I had the opportunity my first year to actually come play in Spain, but I didn't go. And uh, the second year, I said, I'm not going to pass up the opportunity again. And, you know, I eventually ended up in Spain. And uh, the thing about me, about being so far away from home, I'm not a, I don't get homesick. You know, I like being away. I like being on my own, you know, even though sometimes it can be tough, you know, especially around the holidays and stuff like that, where, you know, Christmas, yeah. Thanksgiving, you know, all kinds of holidays that goes on in America that you're not there to be around your family and stuff. So it's different. So I guess I got used to it, you know, and, uh, Like I said, I like being by myself and being alone. Şimdi köşe Tenmelo, Trimbal üçlüğü gönderdi. O karambolden top kaybının kıyısında yüzüp bir şekilde üçlüğü bulmayı başardı. Philadelphia, Minnesota, Chicago Bulls. What should I say? Is it going to be a great you know, deal for you? Yeah, at the time it was it was a new experience for me, um, especially my first year of summer league. You know, it was my out of college to go play summer league in front of NBA coaches and even European people as well, you know, the coaches, they go there to watch. And it was a good experience for me. Um, my own personal opinion about it, I won't say, but I mean, as far as like experience, it was good. And uh, I enjoyed myself and I was able to meet new people. And um, I think that's the thing about basketball. You're always able to meet new people and just around the world. So that's the one thing I'll take from it. One end and he comes back and finishes with two at the other. Trimble on a strong drive. Whoa, we'll right through, go along with six rebounds. And Dwayne Bacon, 13 points to lead. Eight seconds on the shot clock. They don't know it. Trimble shoots for three. Off the ball screen, it's good. Trimble now across the timeline. Mello on the drive. Hangs in the air. Took the contact. Nice job. And here's Trimble again. Long three. Good. Mello Trimble knocks one down. Tell me your home team, Maryland. Yeah. Maryland. Yeah. I mean, so I have grew up in Maryland. I've been there all my life, you know. I shouldn't have to say this, but everyone knows Kevin Durant is from there. We're from the same area. And um, I was like the only guy to stay home and play for Maryland. So that was special for me. And, um, you know, it's crazy. You say, like, everyone started to like me, but it happened out of nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was going to Maryland, and you got people who, like, uh, he's not that good and stuff like that. American people still doubt me and say he's not that good. But I had maybe my first full games I didn't play that well. And then I had one game that sparked everything. And ever since then, I just kept playing well and just kept getting better. And I started to become famous out of nowhere. And it was, it was, it was good. I mean, I had a lot of fun at Maryland. And, you know, um, to be from there, people respect me a lot to stay home and to represent where I'm from. And just, I don't know, it felt, it felt like something. It felt like playing for the USA team, you know, for your country, but you're playing for your state. You know what I'm saying? My state is a big state, and uh, especially for basketball. And so it felt good to be home and play for Maryland. I'm ready. All right. Jordan or LeBron James? LeBron James. Nadal or Djokovic? Who? Nadal or Djokovic? Tennis what? Oh, we can't do tennis. <laughs> Ronaldo or Messi? Ronaldo. All right. I hope you know it. Brad Pitt or Johnny Depp? I know Brad Pitt, but who's the other guy? Johnny Depp? Uh, I got to see a picture. I know Brad Pitt. He's a, I'm going to go with Brad Pitt because he's a good guy. I'll, Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt. You seen the Black Mass? Have you seen that? Brad Pitt. American football, but baseball. American football. All right. Action movies or scary movies? Scary. A summertime holiday, a winter ski holiday. Winter. All right. Janky foods or homemade? Homemade. Hamburger or pizza? It's a pizza. German, you know. Pizza. Right. Ice cream <laughs> or Harry Boys? Ice cream. America or Europe? America. <laughs> and the last question, take it easy, all right, and think about it. Yellow or red? Yellow or red? <laughs> take it easy, don't go away. Yellow? <laughs> all right, hello. Yellow. Are you sure? I'm sure. <laughs> 
because my name rhymes with yellow, that's why I was gonna go with yellow. Red, I'm not a, I'm not a red guy. What's going on? Yellow is cool. Okay, I'm so appreciate that you let us do this interview. Yes. I wish you're gonna play more and more years in here mm. because fans, they love you very much and have that. So it's so nice to have you and thank you very much. Trimble. Trimble, Sailor to Shubashur, the beard of Hardware, Mellow Trimble.